What's poppin' dogs? Mr. Allen here with four dope examples about circles and our in, out, and on angles. Ooh, man, circles have a ton of stuff going on here. We're just getting the tip of the iceberg with these in, out, and on angles, and it is awesome. All right, we're gonna solve for x in each. First one here, where is my angle located? The vertex is on the angle, therefore it is an on angle, and we'll follow that formula. I know that the on angle is half of my intercepted arc, so let's set that up. So my angle we know is 35 degrees, so 35 degrees equals my arc, which is x divided by two. Woo, what am I gonna do to solve that algebraically? How about I multiply by two on both sides? Boom, I'm gonna get x equals 70 degrees, that's it, one example down. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to change the marker for this next one here because I want to. All right. Next one here. We have an in angle, right? This is in the circle. Now, there would be a little center right there for the circle. Beautiful. Make sure that's not a central angle, right? So it's an in angle. It's in the circle. That means I need to average my two arcs and then that will give me my angle. So let's set that up. So I'm going to have 60 plus x over two, that is equal to my in angle, so that equals 40. Now we can go ahead and solve this algebraically. So I'm gonna multiply by two on both sides. That's gonna give me 60 plus X equals 80. And now I'll subtract 60 on both sides and I've got X equals 20 degrees. Boom, diggity, that is dope, dogs. All right, 20 degrees for that one. Let's switch again, let's switch again. All right, I got green this time. Now, over here, where is my angle? It is outside of the circle, therefore it's an out angle. So let's go ahead and set that up. That's the difference of the two arcs divided by two, big arc minus small arc over two is gonna equal that angle. So I've got big arc, which is 70. I know it's the biggest one right there, right? That's the largest one. It's gotta be bigger than that little X right there because it's gonna keep going out. All right, one of the few times you can like assume relative size. So minus X over two equals that 20 degrees right there. And now I'm gonna solve this very similar to this one here, except for it's subtraction with the X instead of addition. So I'll multiply by two on both sides, and I got 70 minus X equals 40. Then I will subtract 70, or I could add X either way, but if I subtract 70 on both sides, I'm gonna get negative X equals negative 30, so I know X is gonna equal 30 degrees. Boom. Wonderful. We've got one last one to do here. All right. Now this one, it is an out angle, right? It is an out angle, but there's a fancy little formula with this one. Okay. These are both tangents here. Whereas with this one, it was secants, right? They cross through twice. Okay. But this one's tangent there and tangent there. So two tangent, I know that 120, 120 plus X has to equal, oops, kind of ran out of room there. 180, okay? So those two, the intercepted arc, the minor arc, plus the out angle in a two tangent situation has to equal 180. So if I subtract 120 on both sides, I'm gonna get X equals 60 degrees without having to do some kind of crazy you know, formula. I could have this 120, this is 240. I could do the out angle formula like we did up here. Kind of messy though, right? If you can recognize that two tangent situation, that's gonna save you some time. And time is money, baby. That ain't funny. But hopefully you enjoyed that line. Feel free to use it. Feel free to use it, right? I didn't actually make it though. All right, see you dogs later.